హలో దిస్ ఇస్ కే ఎన్ నర్సింహమూర్తి ఐఎమ్ ప్రజెంట్లీ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అన్ అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ఫస్ట్ ఎయిడ్ ఉమెన్స్ కాలేజ్ తుమ్కూరు సో సబ్జెక్ట్ విచ్ ఐఎమ్ ప్రజెంటింగ్ టుడే ఈజ్ ద ఫిజిక్స్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ మై ఫార్టీ సెవెంత్ వీడియో ఫార్ ద సెకండ్ సెమిస్టర్ బిఎస్సి స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ తుమ్కూరు యూనివర్సిటీ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఐ హ్ బీన్ టెలింగ్ దట్ the entire syllabus of second semester has been divided into four equal parts each part we are calling it as unit so here the paper is 201 so we call each paper by a number and this time this paper is 201 two represents the second semester and one represents the theory paper 202 means it's a practical paper the two in the last digit will represents the practical one in the last digit will represents the theory 201 is a theory paper 202 is a practical paper exactly like that if you go to the third sem you will have 301 and 302 301 is pertaining to the theory part theory paper and 302 will be the practical paper so the same thing follows for each and every semester okay so i have finished three units three units is done 75 percent of the entire syllabus has been presented in the form of an uh, video uh, i hope that you are making the full complete use of these videos for the studies during this pandemic situation okay students this is my second video in the fourth unit in the first video i have started a very new chapter which is transient current transient current i discussed the definition of transient current which is an oscillatory current which which varies with time it's a periodic current which varies with time before attaining the steady state and also i discussed a one important derivation and that is the derivation of cr circuit in the cr circuit i have derived an equation for the charge on the capacitor at any instant of time t so the equation was q is equal to q naught into 1 minus e to the power of minus t by cr as time proceeds the charge on the capacitor will increase because here i am looking for the growth of the charge in the cr circuit while discussing the growth of charge in cr circuit charge on the capacitor will increase and that charge on the capacitor will increase in an exponential manner it increases exponentially with time okay that is why in the final equation we have q equals q naught into 1 minus e to the power of minus t by cr it is e to the power of minus t r t by cr and it's 1 minus e to the power of minus t r will represents the growth of charge is exponential with respect to the time okay so we have discussed the very important derivation in my last video okay so one small thing is left in the last last video and that was i forgot to discuss this time constant in the cr circuit so that's why that i have kept in my uh, the, the very next immediate video and let's see what is actually the time constant of cr circuit so i can define this time constant of cr circuit while charging the cr circuit and also while discharging the cr circuit okay in both the cases the value of the time constant will remain same okay All right i will take the final equation of the previous derivation okay it it's my last derivation was the charge on the capacitor at any instant of time t so charge q is equal to i can say q naught or q m anything is okay what is the exact meaning of q m q m is the maximum charge that a capacitor can charge and that is equal to c into v c where v is the volt emf of the battery this time maximum charge the voltage will be the maximum voltage and maximum voltage will be the emf of the battery fine so we have done this uh, we're done with this we have an equation for the charge on the capacitor q is equal to qm into 
1 minus e to the power of minus t by cr. t is the time at which I am going to get a charge q. c is the capacitance of the capacitor. And r is the resistance in the circuit. Okay, so I got this equation. After getting this equation, what I am going to do here is, I am trying to substitute this small t time as c into r. If I do that, if I substitute time t as c into r, then if I solve this, so in the numerator of this equation, you will get c, cr divided by cr, cr, cr will get cancels. Uh, it becomes 1 minus e to the power of minus 1. It becomes 1 minus 1 by e. So 1 minus 1 by e, if you do it with the calculator, you will get 0 0.63. So charge on the capacitor is 0 0.63 times the maximum charge if you take T as C into R. That's a key point. So now this is the time constant. I can, I can represent this by tau. So tau is the symbol for time constant. Time constant of a CR circuit can be defined as time during which the charge on the capacitor increases from 0 to 63% of its maximum value. You know the maximum value. Suppose the maximum value is 2 ampere. You just calculate the 63% of the 2 ampere. And for that you draw a line and you get a corresponding time over there. And that time is the time constant of the CR circuit. And that time is equal to C into R. Okay, right. So I'll define this once again. Time constant of the CR circuit is defined as the time during which charge on the capacitor increases from 0 to 63% of its maximum value. You can look at the diagram. Just look at the diagram. There is a curve which is increasing exponentially with time exactly what the equation says. And we have a maximum value, I have drawn a horizontal line for the maximum value and that I am calling it as Qm. Qm is the maximum charge on the capacitor. And I will calculate 0.63 times the maximum value. For that I am, I am drawing an horizontal line which touches the curve at some point. From that point I am drawing a vertical line where I got a time. Where I got a time, this corresponding time is called the time constant. Okay, so we have clearly defined what is actually the time constant in the CR circuit. So time constant is simply tau equals C into R. So it is tau which is equal to C into R. You can define it in another way also. Time constant of the CR circuit is a time during which charge on the capacitor increases from 0 to 0 0.63 times of it, the maximum value. You can say 63% of its maximum value. Either you can say 0.63 times the maximum value. Be careful students. If you use 0.63, you have to say that it's 0.63 times the maximum value. Or if you use 63%, you have to say it is 63% of its maximum value. The formation of sentence is very important. In physics, when you are defining something or when you are stating something. Otherwise, the meaning of entire thing will change. Right. So, we have defined the time constant of CR circuit during charging with a graph and by substituting T is equal to CR. So, that completes the derivation of charging in the case of CR circuit. Right. Next, I will go to the next derivation. Yeah. Next derivation will be the decay of charge in the same CR circuit. So previous derivation we looked for the growth of charge in the CR circuit and we look for the how the charge will grow in a CR circuit which time and this time we are looking for how the charge will decay which time in a CR circuit. Okay. Now I will consider the same CR circuit we have a resistor R and the capacitor C and they are connected in series with the battery and the plug key. Now consider a 
condenser is charged to a maximum value by pressing the key k1 before discharging a capacitor very first thing is you need to charge the capacitor it's a very little common sense that before discharging we need to charge the capacitor first to the maximum value and then discharge okay right now first charge the capacitor to a maximum value by pressing the key k1 and let it allow to discharge through a resistor by pressing the key k2 okay now we are looking for the discharge of CR circuit DK of charge in the CR circuit now at any point of time if I uh, see the charge on the capacitor it is Q Q is the instantaneous charge on the capacitor I mean to say charge at any instant of time on the capacitor right and also I yeah, can define this I as the instantaneous current if I look at some point of time the current in the capacitor is I which is we call it as instantaneous current okay look at the diagram now this is the diagram what I am doing is I am charging the capacitor by pressing the key K1 and after completion of the charging what I am doing is I am di discharging the capacitor through resistance by pressing the key K2 it's that type of arrangement key is a very special type of arrangement when, when you press key 1 this circuit the below circuit will be closed capacitor will get charged when you release the key K1 and press the key K2 the upper circuit is closed and the capacitor will get discharged through the resistor R okay so I am looking I am focusing on the discharge of capacitor I am not seeing the charging of capacitor I have first charged it and I am discharging the capacitor now my interest is to look for the discharge of the capacitor right so very first thing exactly the same procedure what I did in the previous derivation you follow the same procedure first write the EMF equation for the CR circuit the EMF equation is simply VR plus VC is equal to in, in case of charging I wrote E because I am charging the capacitor in the previous derivation that's why I wrote EMF E now what exactly I am doing is I am discharging it while discharging you don't need any battery or you don't need any external EMF so that is why the EMF is zero okay so while discharging you don't need any external source <coughs> any external battery therefore the EMF will be zero therefore this is VR plus VC is equal to zero all right this is the EMF equation for a CR circuit I can write it while discharging right you know what is VR is voltage across the resistance can be simply written using the Ohm's law we know the Ohm's law potential across the uh, any circuit element will be proportional to current flowing through it okay so V is equal to V is proportional to I and I can write V as I into R so VR I can write as I into R so voltage across resistor can be written as I into R it is from the very simple Ohm's law right you know that the voltage across the capacitor it's a very simple equation it's Q by C so students you should always remember that the voltage across the capacitor is Q by C because charge on the capacitor is V into C okay I have written it many times you should remember this equation the voltage across the capacitor VC is equal to Q by C right that's equal to zero now what I'll do is I will substitute for the current I know the instantaneous current is simply the rate of flow of charge so I can substitute for I as dq by dt because its definition itself will tells you that current is the rate of flow of charge right so R into instead of I I am substituting dq by dt which is equal to minus q by cr I am sending q by c to the right hand side so it is minus q by c now 
now it 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 is a very simple differential equation you know students how to solve the differential equation you have many methods in the mathematics to solve these kinds of differential equation but i i choose one of the method which is the variable separable type i'll just separate the variables and i'll start integrating so now the two variables which i can see here is one is the charge another one is the time take the charge to one side and take the time to the other side and simply integrate it and this is the very good way of solving a differential equation and getting the value of the variable q getting the equation for the variable uh, equation for the variable q all right yeah i'll separate the variables uh i'll rearrange this r into dq by dt is equal to minus q by c uh yeah i dq by dt is equal to minus q by cr i am sending r to the right hand denominator and i'll take charge to the left hand side and time to the right hand side dq by q is equal to minus dt by cr so my point is i have a doubt here why you are taking c into r to the right hand side because c into r is no way connected to time c and r are constant with respect to time so why you are writing these constants uh, with this time why can't you write with a charge no it is not at all a problem even you write cr to the left hand side or you write cr to the right hand side it is not at all a problem you know c and r are the capacitance and the resistance of the circuit elements which we have connected in the circuit it will not change with time so therefore they are purely a constant with respect to time okay only the thing is the charge will vary charge will decrease charge will vary with time okay right now i'll integrate this time i will put an integra integration symbol integral of dq by q equals to minus integral of dt by cr right now you know that integration of 1 by q is simply log q no complication in that it's just simple identity that integration of 1 by x is log x just like that integration of 1 by q is log q nothing extra in that now dt by cr you anyway cr is a constant take out of the integral you just integrate dt integration of dt is in fact t i'm sorry you change change this make the correction it is not dt after integration it is only the t it is only the t after integration you please correct it plus so you have to without fail you have to write a constant of integration because i am not integrating with definite limits i am not integrating with upper and lower limits if you do that no need to write the constants no need to write the constant but here you are not integrating with perfect limits so therefore compulsorily without fail you need to mention the constant k plus k and let us call it as equation 1 now after getting this equation after integrating this so you know the procedure you have to find the value of the constant of integration how will do that exactly how in my last uh, uh, last uh, charging cr circuit we did it is by applying some initial condition or some boundary conditions you can use either of this use any of the conditions to evaluate the value of k the constant of integration and substitute it again in the main equation 1 okay that's the same procedure i am doing here also now i am taking the help of initial condition because i know the initial condition very well initially if time t is equal to 0 what could be the charge on the capacitor students this is a case of discharging i am discharging the capacitor to discharge the capacitor at beginning you should have a maximum charge on the capacitor when at a point when you start discharging what could be the value of charge on the capacitor at time t is equal to 0 charge on the capacitor is maximum after you start the time the charge on the capacitor decreases 
okay at time t is equal to 0 at the time at the point where you are starting the discharging at that time the charge on the capacitor is maximum okay so at time t is equal to 0 charge q is equal to qm qm says that it's a maximum charge on the capacitor okay now i'll substitute this t i'll substitute as 0 in fact it's not dt i told you that it's t that becomes 0 and log qm so ultimately i got k as log qm by substituting t equals 0 and q is equal to qm in equation 1 i got the value of constant of integration k as log qm now the next step would be uh, substituting this k in an equation 1 okay i'll substitute in equation 1 log q is equal to minus t by cr plus instead of k i'm substituting log qm okay now i'll take this uh, qm to the left hand side it will become log minus qm i'll use an identity of log a minus log b which is log of a by b here it is log q minus log qm it will be log of q by qm very simple mathematical identity that's is equal to minus t by cr next what i am taking exponential power on both sides if i do that log and exponential will cancel in the left hand side and right hand side will be e to the power of minus t by cr so q by qm is equal to e to the power of minus t by cr so finally i can write the q as q equals to qm e to the power of minus t by cr this is the final equation which i got for the charge on the capacitor at any instant of time in the cr circuit while discharging okay this equation will clearly shows us that the charge on the capacitor will decrease will decay with time exponentially this is an exponential decay curve because uh, very clearly this equation final equation shows that the charge on the capacitor decreases exponentially with time okay <coughs> after getting the final equation after finishing the derivation still i have one small thing left out here and which is the time constant in the cr circuit i have defined the time constant in the cr circuit while charging in the case in the cr circuit you can define the time constant in a similar manner while discharging in the CR circuit as well. Right. So let's take the final equation which I got. It is the charge on the capacitor at any instant of time t while discharging. Q is equal to Qm e to the power of minus t by CR. So after taking the final equation, now what I will do is I will substitute time t as C into R. If I substitute that, e to the power of minus cr by cr 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 will get cancelled and the equation become e to the power of minus 1 so e to the power of minus 1 is 0 0.37 so therefore q is equal to 0 0.37 times qm if i substitute time as c into r i am getting q as 0 0.37 times qm now i can define the time constant in the cr circuit which i sim the sim which i represent by a symbol tau as the time constant of a cr circuit is defined as the time taken by the capacitor to dk this time it is to dk to 37 percent of its initial value okay from maximum value to 37 percent of its initial value initial means the maximum value look at the diagram students so we have a curve which is clearly decreasing exponential decrease the maximum charge on the capacitor i have drawn an horizontal line dotted line which represents qm which is the maximum charge on the capacitor and if I calculate points is 3, 7 times the maximum charge QM, I'll get some value. Draw an horizontal line for that value, which touches the curve at some point. From that point, you draw a vertical line to the x-axis. 
and you note down the corresponding time and this corresponding time is the time constant of CR circuit okay right so time constant of CR circuit can be defined as the time taken by the capacitor to decay to you can say it's 0 0.37 times the mag initial value you can either say like this it is 0 0.37 times the maximum value or you can say it is 37 percent of its initial value okay so you have to be clear which 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 one you are using if you use 37 percent you have to say it's 37 percent of its maximum value or if you use 0 0.37 you have to say it is 0 0.37 times the maximum value okay so this is the definition of time constant which which we symbolically say it is tau which is equal to c into r students in any problem problem if they ask you to find the time constant either during charging or during discharging you have to write tau equals to c into r calculate substitute the value of c and r and calculate the time constant tau in a cr circuit okay right so i have derived an equation for charge during discharging of the cr circuit one of the very important expression very important derivation for the problem for the uh, this examination as well okay right so thank you very much and these are the uh, good books which i referred you please go through it you will understand things better. Thank you very much.